answer Sivan Saha, so Vikram Sola. Uh, sir, you are talking about how uh, the entire solar industry is facing now. So, what are the positives uh, that we are talking about? See, um, uh, the solar industry in India has, I think, just come out of the infancy stage and we have reached about 30 gigawatt of capacity. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, optimism that we will reach, uh, we'll cross 100 gigawatt uh, maybe in the next uh, couple of years and then go forward to set up uh, 500 gigawatt as per uh, the Prime Minister's vision. But then uh, there are, there are uh, challenges as well and especially challenges uh, with regards to, uh, to finance, to, uh, to supply chain, uh, to set up manufacturing capacities in the in the sector and to be uh, self-sustained like China which has both a domestic manufacturing uh, base as well as a uh, installation base so it kind of self-sustains its own industry so we need to do something similar and I always draw parallels to the way the Chinese have actually taken over solar uh, in, uh, for their strategic, uh, as a strategic part source for their own uh, country, as well as made the world dependent on uh, Chinese uh, equipment for their own uh, plants. So it's it's kind of uh, very overwhelming. But then uh, we, of course, uh, there, there's a different perspective when while in India because we are a democratic country. But then um, there are a lot of lessons or. Um, ideas to be borrowed from the way that the Chinese have actually uh, impacted the solar market. Uh, and also uh, the module manufacturing, uh, you are into only module manufacturing, so of course you just out uh, China. Uh, what are the challenges you see now, uh, as of now? Because overall there is interest in slowdown and we have this uh, you know, Chinese you know, coming out with this uh, huge uh, uh, capacity. What are the challenges uh, in solar manufacturing? So I'll talk about, I'll not talk about Vikram Solar, but in general the manufacturing challenges that are, doing, uh, that are there in, in, in the present environment is that um, there are no fixed policy guidelines that actually promote uh, manufacturing. That's, that's one of the biggest challenges that we face. Uh, when we say uh, policy guidelines, I'm talking about, you know, specific. Uh, inputs like uh, either interest subvention, uh, capex subsidies, you know things like MSIPs, and uh, things like uh, you know building up manufacturing clusters, make manufacturing um, um, you know uh, the, the business of manufacturing more um, business friendly, uh, give approvals uh, when in time, etc. For all of that, so the entire gamut of manufacturing sector itself requires a major uh, policy intervention. That's the first thing. And the second thing is that creation of market for that product which is being made here. So, and investing in technologies which are uh, going to make our products competitive as well as internationally, uh, uh, you know, relevant in the international sector. If you want to make, set up a module manufacturing or a cell manufacturing plant only for selling to the Indian market, then you are you are not in the right game. You have to be globally competitive and you need to have infrastructure, policy support and manufacturing skills to make your product globally competitive. Only then it works. And the policies, uh, Indian policies keeps on changing various factors, net metering, so many issues as well. Where do you see uh, some kind of positives in the whole uh, process, the policy uh, paralysis? So I think uh, the biggest uh, positive, uh, if you say, is that uh, the government probably uh, has not still lost interest in solar. So they keep on coming out with uh, uh, improvements. In my presentation today, I covered at least half a dozen um, things that were positive, I would say, in this year. Uh, one of them is a Seki manufacturing bit, which came out to be a totally different uh, um, uh, policy uh, document, 
as it was one year back compared to that. Now it has become like a very, very robust and it's very unique document, which I think is, is, a, is a good positive. This year has been impacted more with, uh, um, you know, rather dampening news of new duties and, uh, you know, Karnataka government uh, saying that they are not going to buy solar. Uh, Andhra Pradesh government refusing uh, to um, accept uh, PPS. So, in general, that has uh, been a dampener for the industry. And find it uh, Jigod by 2030. Um, how real, realistic uh, is the target and is it achievable with all this promise? See, um, everybody thought 100 gigawatt was not achievable. Had we played our cards right, probably we could have done 100 gigawatt by 2020. We should have. But then, we, in hindsight, yes, unless you put a target, there is no, you don't see an investor uh, confidence in that. So, uh, the government is doing the right things, making the right noises to put aggressive targets. And from ISRO to the solar manufacturing, one thing is common between me and uh, Mr. Evan is we both work in the same organization, one of the greatest organizations we have. And uh, what made you shift from, I mean, what, what are the takeaways like? Solar, I think, uh, is also seen it in, during R.A. Patel's time also. Yeah, so what is the connect? <laughs> so I was actually hired by ISRO to make the first Gilliam Arsenide solar service in India, domestic. Yeah. But then that's a uh, long time back, 25, uh, 20 years, 25 years back. But then um, uh, I think the biggest takeaway uh, from my experience in ISRO has been the relentless focus on quality. Because that's something ISRO is is very close to Israel's heart and it's one of the key elements uh, of success of Israel. I think that is uh, that transcends, that translates to everything that is going on in the solar industry, the incessant focus on quality that is required to be a successful solar manufacturer is, is what I have been taught. And thanks uh, Mr. Saha and uh, that was Mr. Saha and uh, from his road to uh, become solar. <laughs> That's how the journey is. Thanks for coming to Smart Sustain. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much.